Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create um, harvestable dead bodies um, using Survival Game Kit and Smart AI. Um, so this is going to be uh, when you hit a dead um, AI's body, um, we can receive um, items for doing that, similar to how uh, Rust has it, so you can hit a dead body to receive resources. Um, so to get started, um, before following this video, I strongly recommend you watch the um, Smart AI um, integration video with Survival Game Kit. Um, I'll link that in the uh, description so you can um, follow that before following this one. So to get started we're going to go to the Smart AI folder, then Blueprints, AI, AI Characters, then to the Master AI Character. And in here we're going to create a few new variables to get us started. So we'll create one and we'll call this um, uh, Resource Items. And we're going to change that to an array and we're going to change it to a data row handle like that. Um, we'll tick on the um, little I here. We'll add another one and we'll call this um, dead body amount. And we'll change this to uh, a single variable and we want this to be an integer. Um, and we will also tick on the uh, little I there um, as well and we will also create another one called max uh, dead body amount and we'll tick on the i for that and we'll leave that as an integer um, we'll make another one we'll call this uh, current item and i'm going to set that to an invent uh invent, oh, invent item um, and we Mm -hmm. We'll add two more. So we'll add one called, um, uh, and we'll set this to um, player inventory, like that. And we'll just call this player inventory. And we'll add another one, and this will be um, damage weapon. And we'll set this to a melee, a master melee weapon, like that. And we'll compile that. Next, we're going to uh, move this out of the way um, and I'm going to add in a branch. Now, you can spend a, little, a lot more time um, cleaning this code up. I'm just gonna do it quickly for the sake of the video, but um, we'll copy this um, AI component node and we'll do get uh, dead. And we'll connect that up and we want this to be plugged into false um, so that if the character, if the AI isn't dead, we just pass the damage along to the AI um, component and that can handle that. Uh, next we're going to um, go, we're going to um, get our uh, player inventory variable that we just created and we'll drag out from the damage causer and we'll do get component by class and the class will be player inventory and we'll do an is valid and connect it up like this. And then next we actually want to go back here and I want to set the damage weapon to the damage instigator. Um, for that we will um, do a cast to melee like this. And if the cast passed, uh, we can do that. And if not, we can just ignore it like that. And over here, we'll get it, we'll right click it and we'll do convert to valid get and do that. Then next, we're going to um, compile this quickly and save. Now we're going to go to um, the master melee weapon. So we're going to go content, survival game kit, blueprints, items, uh, holdable items. Then we want to find the master melee weapon. And in here, we're gonna create a few new variables. So the first one will be can uh, har harvest uh, dead bodies. Um, the next one will be min um, harvest amount. You can call these variables whatever you like. Um, I'm just calling it uh, this for this video, um, harvest amount. 
and we'll change uh, the max to an integer and the same t as uh, the min. And we'll tick both the uh, i's on these. Um, and we'll compile. And I'm going to set the min amount to 1 and then the max amount to 3. Again, you can set these to whatever you like. And uh, you'll be able to change these per weapon. So you'll be able to find these variables now um, in the class defaults of any melee weapon uh, that you create in the future or uh, existing ones. Um, so now we can jump back to our um, master AI character blueprint. I'm going to drag out and I'm going to do um, get can harvest dead bodies. And we'll do a uh, branch like that. Um, next, we want to get our um, resource items. Now, this is the array that has all of the different items that um, we can get when we hit the dead body. Um, so I'm just going to add a couple um, of random ones. You can set these to whatever you like. Um, you'll also be able to find this um, variable in the class defaults of the um, other AI blueprints. Um, but for this, I'm just going to add a couple of examples. Um, so this must always be set to master item list, and then you'll get the uh, list of all of the items. Um, I'm just going to set mine to uh, nine millimeter ammo, and I'll add another one. Um, and we'll set this to buckshot, for example. Um, and I'll compile this quickly. Now, um, the way this is going to work is it's going to be set up so that when we hit the um, dead body with the melee weapon, we'll get a random um, item and a random amount from our resource item uh, array. So to do this, we're just going to uh, randomize um, like this. And we'll do a random, ran, uh, uh, random integer in range. And the min will be zero and the max will be this value. And we can connect that up like that. So all this will do is return a random item from our resource items. Um, and then we can uh, break this like that. And we're gonna do get game mode. And then we'll do um, SGK um, manager, sorry, not item, uh, global global inventory manager there we go like that and from that we'll do create new item and we'll take the row name and plug that into here um, we will tick on replicated um, now add defaults and add starting items is kind of up to you um, and depends on what how you want it to work Basically, um, say for whatever reason you had it set up that if the player hits a dead AI body, it received a weapon. Um, if you tick on add defaults, that weapon that the player receives would have all of its default attachments. Um, and then again, uh, if you had it so um, when you hit a dead AI body, you received, say, a backpack, for example. Um, if add starting items is ticked on, that backpack will have um, any starting items it's meant to have. Um, I'm just going to leave these off because I, I don't think it's it'd be pretty strange to have um, your dead AI body give you a weapon or a backpack. But again, you can tick these on if you want to. Um, but for this, I'm just going to leave it as this. Um, next, we're going to um, drag out from the amount and we'll do select. And we'll just use the select node here. And we're going to um, get our damage weapon and we'll get uh, min harvest amount and the get max harvest amount. Um, and we'll do a random, random integer and range and connect that up like this. And we'll plug this into option one. And we want to get the dead body amount. We want to check to see if this is greater than um, the max harvest amount and we'll connect this up to the index um, so if it is then um, we'll just randomly select how much we want to harvest and if not we'll just return the dead body amount like that and then you can compile quickly next we will uh, get the player inventory and we'll drag out and do a temp attempt to add item um, and we'll connect this up like this. 
Um, you have a couple of options here. You can disable notifications if you want to. Um, I recommend keeping stack search on. That basically just checks to see if there's an existing stack that uh, this item can be added to. Um, then after this, we'll do an if. And from here, if there is a remaining item, we want to get the player inventory. Do get owner. And we'll do uh, SGK overflow items like that. And we'll plug in the invent item to the remaining invent item pin here. Um, and then we can compile quickly. And we're actually going to go back to our master melee weapon. And in here, we're, um, we're going to go to, sorry, not the master melee weapon. We'll go to showcase, then uh, the content folder, survival game kit, blueprints, um, items, holdable items, and then we want to find the master weapon. And in here, we're going to go to the apply, um, hit damage, um, hit actor damage. And in here, we're going to find uh, any of the SGK damage nodes. And we're going to drag out from event instigator and we're going to do self like that. Um, and we, uh, let me have a look. That's the only one in here, so that's okay. Um, because we're uh, using this to determine which weapon um, is hitting our AI character. So that needs to be uh, connected up. So we can hit compile now. Next, we're going to do, um, we'll get the dead body amount and we wanna do um, minus and we'll do um, current item and we will do break and we'll plug the amount into here. We actually wanna go back over here and we need to set this current item so we'll set it uh, just here like that and connect that up then we'll do um, set dead body amount and we want to make sure that it's um, is less than or equal to um, zero and if it is uh, we want to get the AI component do stop despawn timer and we want to do multicast uh, despawn body like that um, then we want to do uh, max dead body amount and we want to do set dead body amount like that then we can compile Next, we're just going to copy this uh, end piece here and we'll um, put this up here. So we just uh, make sure that we set our dead body amount um, when the game starts, when the AI is uh, possessed. Um, and we also want to go um, just here. I'm just going to double click to create a reroute node and we'll connect that up here. And we'll just do a quick loop around here um, and then we can compile and save this. Now there's a few other settings you might want to change. One might be the um, dead body despawn time. So if you select the AI component and search for dead, you can see you've got the dead body despawn time. Now this is how long the body will remain on the ground after the AI has been killed. So you'll probably want to turn this up a little bit. I've put mine to 50, but you can put it um, as high as you like. Um, also, we're going to need to actually enable um, the harvest can harvest dead body in our melee weapon. So I've just searched for axe here. I'm going to open up the BP axe and in our class defaults, I'll just search for uh, can heart. There we go. Can harvest dead bodies. Um, I've already turned mine on, but make sure you take this on. Otherwise you won't be able to harvest um, any resources with it. And then obviously you can search for um, harvest and you can find the min and max harvest amounts in here as well. We also need to actually set um, our AI to have some resources. So um, it's still set as zero. If I get rid of the search, um, our default amount is still set as zero. So I'm just gonna set mine to 20 um, and we can compile this now. So our um, AI body should have 20 uh, items worth of resources. So before we jump in and uh, start testing, there is one small thing we wanna uh, change where I've uh, made a mistake. We're just going to drag out from the damage cause there and we're actually going to do cast to character like that and we'll connect it up to the uh, true pin and from here we'll do get controller like that 
and we'll plug this return value into the target like that and uh, this pin into our player inventory node um, and that will uh, fix any problems that uh, we might have in the future. Um, so we're pretty much ready now to test out our, um, our AI. Um, so we're going to jump in. Um, one thing to remember is you may have set your dead body despawn time to say 500, but the way uh, Smart AI works is if you're using spawners like I am here, um, if the respawn time is say 12 seconds, the AI's body will disappear after 12 seconds. Um, that's because Smart AI reuses the dead AI um, for optimization. Um, so just keep in mind that. Um, if your respawn time is lower than your dead body spawn time, then um, your AI's body is going to disappear. So for this, I'm, um, I've actually got respawning turned off, but um, make sure that you increase your respawn time as well as the dead body um, despawn time as well. Um, so I'm going to hit play and we'll jump in. And we should see our AI spawn just there. And I'm just going to get my axe out. Now I've turned up the damage on my axe quite a bit, so he should die fairly quick. So he's dead on the floor now, and I can hit his body. And we can check that we are receiving our items. And once we've hit him enough, we should uh, have a, his body despawn like that. And you can see we've got our, um, our harvested items here. So that's pretty much it for uh, this video. Um, I will quickly show you, um, obviously in the, um, in the holdable, sorry, in the melee weapon holdables, you can find the harvest settings. Uh, just search for harvest and you can find those settings we created earlier. Um, you can also find the, um, if we go to smart AI, blueprints, AI, AI characters, examples, and I go to say um, zombies. We can open up our zombie um, and in here we can search for um, dead and you can see we've got our dead body amount uh, amounts here and we can also search for our item and we can find our resource items so um, using this you can set you know certain bodies to give certain items and um, some AI to give more um, resource items than others so that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope this helped thank you for watching